An iconic Roanoke restaurant is back in business tonight after nearly being destroyed by a fire earlier this year. That news reporter Coulter Anstad, who was there for the reopening today, explains why customers were quick to return to the community inn. For the first time in eight months Thursday, the sound of happy customers, not the sound of renovation, filled the community in. We were going down the street and, and my wife looked in the window and said, oh my God, there's people in there. So <laughs> then we came. I jumped for joy when I saw people in here today. It's the central place for this whole neighborhood. Everybody comes here. I mean, you want to come down and see somebody at lunchtime, this is where they are, you know. I, I haven't gone out to lunch in the neighborhood for the past six months more than a couple of times down here because it's been closed. On Easter Sunday, the restaurant caught fire. Owner Mont Morrow says there was never any doubt the restaurant would reopen, but he didn't think getting the iconic eatery back in business would take eight months. It felt great to pull the plastic down this morning and and people start coming in the door. The fire is believed to have started by discarded smoking material. The smoking section of the restaurant where the fire started has been opened up and smoking is no longer allowed. You'd walk through here and this was your smoking area. Uh, it was kind of laid out the same. The bathroom sat further back and further over at the time because we had four bathrooms. Now we have two to be uh, handicap accessible. During the interview, Moreau kept a list in front of him of over two dozen businesses and people who helped the restaurant reopen. The Granite Village, I mean, it's great like that. Everybody's trying to help out. Just, it's amazing. In Roanoke, Coulter Anstat, 10 News, working for you. On the rise, bakery next door was also damaged by the fire. It reopened last month.